Hi, and welcome to Crafty Ladybug. Today's tutorial is going to be on the sailboat. I'm going to begin today's tutorial with the loom set in an offset configuration with the arrows pointing towards my body. We'll be needing three red, 25 white, 11 gray, and 22 yellow, or whatever color you want the bottom of your boat to be. I'm going to begin with a dangle band hanging over the edge of my loom on the center peg. If you followed along with many of my other videos, you'll notice that I use this band to secure the loom off at the end of the project. I'm going to take two gray bands, lay down the center peg. An additional two gray bands down the center peg. Two gray bands down the center peg. Two gray bands down the center peg. That'll be four sets of two gray bands. The next one is going to be three gray bands, and this is just going to give a little bit more stability when the sail and the boat pieces meet together. We're going to start back at the top again with one single red band going from the center peg to the left one single red band going from the left to the second center peg. Two additional white bands coming from the center to the right. Two bands coming from the right down a peg. Two white bands on the right again. Two white bands on the right again. So that will be three sets of two bands coming down the right side. We want to form a diagonal from the band that we just finished down towards the center. So it's going to come from the right peg down towards the center. I want to begin on the other side with the left sail. It'll be two bands from the red peg the peg with the last red on it, over to the left, and then we're going to be coming down with a set of two bands. Come down again with another set of two bands. Then we're going to connect our diagonal up from this left peg to the center gray peg above the previous white one that we just laid. If I've gone too fast for you, just pause your video here and make sure that your bands are set up in this type of a configuration. I'm going to begin now with laying the bottom of our boat. You want to use two yellow or the color of your choice bands to go down the center, two additional yellow bands coming down the center, and then we're going to form a diagonal from the center to the left peg. Come down with two additional yellow bands. And then we're going to connect our diagonal on this left side. We're going to do the same thing on the right with two bands. Two bands coming straight down. And two bands from the right to the center. Now let's begin with our capping bands. The capping area is going to be slightly different because we need to add a little extension here on these pegs. That's going to cause the boat bottom to have a little pointy area to it. In order to do this, you're going to take your hook, wrap one band around four times. One, two, three, and four. And you want to leave that on your hook. Take a single band, stretch it out slightly, and you want to double twist it onto itself. And you want to pull your four bands, your four twists, onto that loop. I just simply take and place it on my hook, like so, and I'm going to be placing it on the upper left, and I need to do the same thing again for the upper right. So that's one band, twisted one, two, three, 
four times around, a single band, stretch slightly and double twisted. And then you want to pull your four time twist over onto that. And I have just secured it onto the hook. I'm going to place it on the upper right portion of my boat to make its little pointy area. So that is our cap bands for the extension of the boat. Now we need to cap off the bottom of the boat. One band, three times. One, two, and three. I have a horizontal band that I need to place in here. And that is going to be just a one-time horizontal band over this set of triangle pegs to form a triangle. I need to cap off the sail here and here on the left. When we do the looping, it's going to be slightly different in that area, so we'll need to pay close attention when we get to that portion. It's going to be one band capped off onto your right peg four times. One, two, three, four. That was on the right side. One, two, three, four pegs down. You want to do a four time cap band. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. One, two, three, four pegs down. We're going to cap this off with a four time cap band. One, two, three, four. So that's our four time cap band. An additional cap band will need to go up here at the red. A single band four times. One, two, three, and four. Now I need to place my horizontal bands and this is going to be a little tricky and difficult because we want it so tight and small. When we go to loom we're going to have to be very careful in this area because there will be a lot of tension. My first two time cap band is going to go from the center peg to the upper right forming a diagonal. I want to take one band and wrap it around these pegs two times. So that was one band wrapped two times from the second center to the first right. An additional two time cap band from the third center to the second right. One time, two times. We need to do that one more time on the fourth center to the third right. One band, one time one band two times. Now we need to do the opposite side so we're going to come down and count three bands or three from the center one two three and go to our second left. One time two times. The next band that we need to place is going to be our fourth band fourth peg down to our third left peg. This is going to be a capping band or horizontal band wrapped one, two times around. This is going to connect all of our pieces that we need connected for the sail area. Now let's begin to loom our piece. We're going to start off at the bottom, reach into the cap band, and grab the two bands that are on top. Hold on to your cap band, move that off to the right, or if you laid it differently than me, it may go off to the left. Reach into your cap band, move off to the left, into your cap band, and come up to the center. Now I want to begin on my right side, reach in, grab the bottom two bands, and come straight forward. On the corner piece here, it's going to be very thick because we have this little pointy area. So reach in. Grab your bottom two bands and pull them off to the left center. Start on the left side, reach in, come straight forward. Here we have our other left pointy area, which is going to be really tight towards the center. Now I want to complete the bottom of the boat by reaching into the center peg and grabbing to complete the boot. 
I'm not going to start with the gray right here because I need to work on the sail and the flag. For the sail, you want to reach into your cat band on the right, and this is going to be an awkward movement for some of you, but you want to reach in and pull that band down towards the center. So you're reaching in and pulling the band down towards the center. Now we're going to reach in and we're going to loom right up the right side. Basic straightforward looping here. Be sure to push back your horizontal cappy type of bands. Now reach in and come to the right, from the right to the center. And we have another cat band here. Reach in, grab your two bands, hold on to your cat band, and then come over to the center. Reach into your cat band, and we're going to come straight forward. Reach in and grab that one that goes off to the diagonal. I'm going to push that piece down just a little bit because I have a red flag to add to it also. Reach into your flag area, that cat band on your flag, and bring your right down towards the right. Reach into your cat band area, it's coming up towards the right. Now we can start at the bottom of the boat again and complete our mast. So we want to reach in, grab the three gray bands that are down in there, and that's going to be a really tight loop. All of these loops coming straight forward up the mast are going to be a little tight and you may have to relieve some tension. Reach in, come straight forward. Reach in, get your bottom two gray bands, come straight forward. And reach in through all those bands to get the bottom two gray bands. Come straight forward. Now to finish off the piece, you want to take your finger and place it in your dangle band. Reach in, grab your dangle band, pull that out slightly. Slide your other end over the hook, and then just pull through. In order to keep the boat looking neat, you want to take the bottom of your hook, and because there's a lot of tension on all of these bands, you want to place your hook in and relieve those cat bands. Remember that there is a lot of stuff on these bands. I don't want you guys to get mad at me and say, oh, it broke, it broke. I warned you, you need to make sure that you relieve the tension on them, especially in this area right here, because we have so many bands that are right there. And then we can just kind of pop it off. And here we have our boat with a couple little tugs in some certain areas. You want to grab a hold of the little pointy areas here and tug outwards a little bit. Push through the center. And here we have our cute little sailboat. I hope you'll visit me for some other tutorials and techniques. And remember that our bee goes along for our boat. Thank you so much and I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel.